Gary, I can't think of anything more spectacular than, I mean more spectacular than watching the Super Bowl was Peyton Manning last night. Well, I can think Come of on. a few things. Come on. <laughs> I mean, there's got to there's be maybe in your world, there's got to be a few things. My gosh, can, can I just say something? Yes, sir. Just, I mean, then we'll get to the football. Yes, sir. But you, Erica, I've never seen Erica, my gosh, that dress was popping through the screen. It's a Did yellow you alert. Come on. <laughs> Believe me. I mean, and I don't care what this sounds like. I've been doing this long <laughs> enough. People could trust me. Yes, sir. I, I'd watch Kron. I would. Grief. <laughs> Thank no, you, really. sir. Er Erica's growing up. <laughs> and, you know? and she's, our girl is all grown up. I know. No, I not love that, her. but I'm just saying that was a fantastic outfit. Then thank you got you. a fantastic thank outfit. Thank you. We both thank you, Eric. And, and then there's George. And then there's George. And me, what? laying in bed with, in my underwear. You guys are experts, Gary. All right, now get back so, to your pre-recorded No, script. listen, I, I am looking at this as, you know, just purely athletic ability and just I am the guy's 37 and I know that most phenomenal quarterbacks are looking to retire at 38 and he it's like he's born again thank you how much of the game did you watch I uh, every moment okay, right you didn't watch any but I'll tell you <laughs> yes sir Daria I think in the history of professional football yes he is Peyton Manning is the greatest regular season quarterback ever and I say regular season because Joe Montana won four Super Bowls. Terry Bradshaw won four Super Bowls. Peyton Manning's only won one. But for regular season, I think he's the best quarterback ever. It was it, with the seven touchdowns. And it, I mean, when you look at and I know it's been 44 years since that was done. It's only sixth uh, you know quarterback who did to do it. it. Joe Cap, who played at Cal. And was a coach at Cal. There you go. But he did it for the Minnesota Vikings. So, so if you break down this game and you're just, you know, in awe of Peyton Manning, then then you break it down for your points for fantasy because don't forget everybody's into that. Do you realize that Will Tran has 66 points this morning? Do you know? Do you, I mean, he? No one's gonna. Anyone who has like Aaron Rodgers this weekend or Colin Kaepernick or the, they're not gonna come close to those points. You know, I can say this because we're friends. I really like Will Tran, right? <laughs> yes, I know you Nobody want to do adopt him. Nobody cares about his no, fantasy. Let me tell you. You don't even care. You're you, on TV and you're pretending. I no am, one I, cares. I have to talk to these guys. Do you know what we talk about all day? This is our conversation. Sorry, you wonder why I keep to myself. <laughs> that, that's exactly. Well, this is it. Uh, Gary, you, we're close. You're going to die five years <laughs> earlier. If you talk to people about their fantasy team fantasy. or their golf game, All right, you how about die, that? that'll take five years <laughs> off your life. All right, when I did, when I did relook at various things that so were die, worth my die, time. Listen to me. No, yes. You're like me. You don't, you don't want to hear somebody talk about themselves. You want to work and go home. Don't uh, kid me. Wait, no, here's what I do, because you know I don't watch the game. I go back and look at the points that just are must-see TV. Yeah. So I really did. A million times I watched this Jacoby Jones things. A million times, because every time I was like, ow, ow, and a rookie does it to his own teammate? Yeah. This was bad. Well, the, the, the oh. whole thing, there were a couple of things last night when the uh, kid had the interception and he dropped it. Yeah, I got that one. I got that highlight of that, too. Yeah. I got highlight because he was showboating. He thought he was done, and he wasn't. Yeah, he's just <laughs> lucky that Denver, you know, uh, took over and won the game big. But, oh. yeah, th there was a lot of, lot of stuff last night that makes the, you wonder. The, the Yeah, okay. Okay, speaking of making you wonder, and what about the Ryan Seacrest thing? I don't even know why. He's booed, and he's not like, you know, you bring out some kind of stud, sport hero, the man's man, or a hot girl, but people <laughs> booed him. I... Well, there's something about him. He must be fabulous in a meeting. Does that make sense? <laughs> yes, I mean, because they sold I mean, him. He's yeah. fine on the air, and he's cute, and he's got a little pompadour. But for but this? My gosh, for he this? gets all the good jobs. Yeah. He's, he's the producer of the Kardashians and these reality things. He must, there must be something about him when he closes the door and gets people in a meeting yes. that makes them say, all right, what do you want to do next? This will be, yeah, this will be great. We'll give you a gazillion dollars to fly out and have these big steam things coming up. And you say, woo, and everybody's like, boo, get off, let's yeah, do it. Yeah, and he does it on all the different networks. Right, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, and whatever. I mean, I just listen, good for him. And he's a, you know, I don't know if you know the story. When he was starting out, he used to fill in on Channel 2. Really? Yes, yeah, you know, they'd have, they do a, uh, uh, I don't know, I'm not doing their programming, but they had a little segment where you interview a guy or something like that, and then and you 
you know, you do a little community interest stuff, I don't and they get put it. him on in the morning, well, yeah. filling in. Well, eh, that's fine. I don't get. I don't. I don't also. I mean, I kind of get this, but I want you to explain it to me too. Uh, what I saw uh, in another highlight <laughs> was Wait. I've never seen them patting down the players, and they and we got this on tape as they're patting down the Ravens players just before and before they went out from the lockers in halftime. And they say they were looking for either sticky stuff or slippery stuff. Like, you don't want to... Oh, so the league was patting them down. Well, yeah, and I guess immediately, I, I'm not a fan. I go, oh, is it security? But it's not. And I guess they do this all the time, but you never see it. Yeah. And so, that because you don't want stick them and you don't want slippery. Either yeah, way. okay. I've seen the referees. I have to admit, have seen... sorry, I was in the car back and forth uh, for Kron, right? Yes. So I did not see this. Well, so I can't I, give you a legitimate answer. I'm bringing you the highlights. Yes. Okay? That's what Thank I'm doing. You. So we got, what are you going to watch? What are you going to watch this weekend? Oh, boy. I mean, I, it's, well, Sunday is the day. I mean, you, you have to, you can legitimately tell your family, leave your father alone <laughs> because he's working, right? Exactly. But you got the Raiders in the morning in Indianapolis. Right. And you've got the 49ers. That's the big one. Hosting Green Bay, that's great. Okay. Stanford Open, San Jose State is, uh, you know, good luck against Stanford. Right. And then the Giants and A's, are they still playing? Well, uh, the yeah, Giants, playing? you know, it's over. Well, A's, yeah. A's are playing Houston, and they're fighting for the playoffs. It's a pretty good, not to mention Cal. My, look, nice you know, graphic. You know what? It's my fantasy weekend. But probably when it comes right down to it, nothing's better than watching a group of millionaires sail. Well, you know what? It's going to be close because we're going to be back with more weather and traffic. So your favorite, George, Erica in the yellow. Yeah. And All right? So stay tuned for that. They better not, I better not find out they got a big clothing allowance for everybody. <laughs> no, no. All I'll right, we're you. slumming it. See you, Garrett. We'll all be right back.